Except this one has rosehip oil in it um, and aloe vera in it. I didn't like it. I didn't hate it. It was just okay. If it was on sale, I might buy it. Um, next, we have the Lacura Body Wash in Sublime Time. This has lime juice and citrus essential oil. This smells really nice. I really enjoyed doing this and it's actually um, almost unisex so um, men could probably use this and be fine with it so yeah that was that was good I'd probably buy it again if I saw it next we have a packet of the Neutrogena makeup cleansing wipes these are fine um, they're not my favorite and I think these came in like a I don't know whether these came in a subscription or something or whether I just grabbed them because they were like on sale. I probably wouldn't buy them again though because I didn't really think that much of them. So I have two of the Lacura face masks. These are the hydrating ones. I really like these. They're one face mask I do really like. Like there's no burning, there's no stinging, my skin just feels nice and soft afterwards. Um, they've got plenty of uh, serum stuff in them. Um, yeah. Um, there's like gooey serum on the outside. Um, yeah, so I would probably buy these again if I saw them at Audi's. So, yeah. Another Lacura product, which is one that I do actually like, I've already rebought another one, is the Lacura Foaming Facial Cleanser. I quite like a foaming facial cleanser. It's just, it suits me. Um, this is the pink grapefruit one. Um, I love the smell of pink grapefruit. I wouldn't eat a pink grapefruit because I don't like the taste of them, but I love the smell of them. Um, and yeah, I've already rebought this and I've had to like make myself not use it to use up some sample stuff that I've got that I'm trying to work through um, because it is my preference and it's also very effective at removing makeup like if I haven't removed my makeup before I go and have a shower because I use this in the shower um, if I haven't taken my makeup off first this is actually really effective at taking off even like eye makeup um, more effective than most other cleaners I've used so yeah I really love this product and I'll probably continue to buy it when I've used up sample stuff. I have this little sample from Lilian Beauty of the Clean Purifying Cleanser. This is one of the cleansers I was mentioning that I'm trying to use up. Um, I used that this after I'd finished the Lacura one. It apparently has Indian gooseberry and geranium oil. It was fine. I didn't find it a particularly effective like, if I still had makeup on my face, like a mascara or something, it wasn't going to take that off. Um, yeah. It was fine. It just wasn't great. I wouldn't search it out. Um, and then I have a bunch of little samples, like, you know, the ones in foil packets that are horrible. So this is the Ageless Beauty Marine Miracle Cream, a facelift in a jar from Trans Formulas. It was fine. It was just a moisturizer. Nothing amazing about it whatsoever. I certainly would not be looking for it. I also have this Time Miracle Ultimate Facelift Day Cream from Madara. Again, it was fine. Nothing special. Wouldn't go out of my way to find it. I have an Avon Nutra Effects Hydration Gel Cream. Again, it's fine. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it. It's, it's just fine. 
Uh, I have a Nutramedics BB cream. This is in light medium. It I, I wore it, but it was way too dark. <laughs> and um, and it also kind of oxidizes. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but yeah. It was straight up orange. I ended up having to put white powder on my face to tone down the colour. It was that bad. As to whether it's any good or not, I don't really remember. I was just annoyed by the colour of it. So. Um, I have this Body Shop Tea Tree 3 in 1. It's um, supposed to be a wash scrub mask. Um, it doesn't actually give you any instructions on how to use this on this little sample packet. Um, it just says to avoid the eye area. It's not very helpful, guys. Um, it was fine. Um, it's not my favourite. It's like this... It's not, I mean... I don't know if you can see that. It's got little scrubby bits in it. It was, it was fine, but nothing, I don't remember it blowing me away, um, yeah, so. And lastly, we have from, uh, La Vera, this is the Firming Day Cream with Caranja Oil and Organic White Tea. Again, like all the other, um, face creams. It was just fine. It wasn't anything special. It didn't make me want to seek it out to buy it. I wouldn't know where to buy it from. Anyway, um, but it was fine. So that is all of the skin casca stuff that I have finished since my last update. Um, yeah, I don't think that, I mean, there's other stuff I finished, but it wasn't skincare related. Uh, yeah, so that is it for this video. Make sure you go and check out everybody else who will be listed in the description below. Um, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like project type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!